Lisa from Pink Hollybush Designs and welcome to my sewing studio. At Pink Hollybush, through our courses and our patterns, we help moms and grandmoms add love with every stitch as they create easy care garments that children will adore. Now the twirly skirt sew along is going to be um, kicking off in just a little over a week. Um, so I thought today it would be helpful if maybe I just shared a few um, short <laughs> tips and tricks of how to lay out knit fabric and in the process save some yardage. Now as um, a pattern designer, whenever I design a pattern and I'm at the point where I have to figure out the yardage layout and the amount of yardage that you need for the pattern, I always have to err on the side of giving you a little extra, okay? You might go and purchase your fabric somewhere that you can't get back and get more, or you might purchase fabric years ago from your stash and now um, you're using it. Or as we all know, fabric, um, there's a run for the uh, when it's printed and that's the end. So it won't be around a few years from now, the same print if you found one. So again, I always wanna make sure that you have enough fabric. And so I always round up when I'm figuring that yardage. But you maybe wanna get that pattern in to that piece that you happen to have, or you might just want to um, avoid waste and use as little as possible. So today I just have a couple tips on how you can do that. So let's look at what I have for you. So the first tip is to establish the straight grain line. When I cut my nets, I'm using a wide ruler so that I can line it up with the salvage edge and I'm cutting it with a rotary cutter. So I'm making sure that I'm getting a um, very straight um, edge here where I've cut it right on the grain. I also have to assume that wherever you purchased your fabric, they didn't necessarily cut it on the grain with a straight cut. So um, I have to allow that you're gonna have some waste there. Now, at Pink Holly Bush, I make sure that you get it cut with that straight cut right on the grain, but I don't know that everyone else is doing that. The second tip is to place your pattern pieces as close as possible. So the secret is, since I'm using that rotary cutter and a ruler to cut the fabric, I can put my skirt pieces right up next to each other. I put the top one up against that cutting, straight cutting line that I established when I cut the fabric, and I'm putting the next one right up against it as well. So there's not gonna be any waste here at all. The third tip is ignore the pattern layout and see if you can fit small pieces in. For the smaller sizes, the pockets can go next to the skirt pieces. Now you can't do that um, with the larger size like I have here, but still um, you can save a lot of yardage just by putting um, the skirt pieces right up next to each other. So the last tip is fold your salvage edges in towards the middle. By then taking the yardage and folding the salvage edges into the inside so you have a fold on either side, you can get your yoke pieces and your pockets in um, that remaining yardage. Now as you see here, I have the bigger pocket and I'm not going to be able to get um, all four of them in this yardage, but it still works out that by being very um, careful about how you cut those skirt pieces and not wasting any fabric, that you can get up to a size seven twirly skirt into a yard of 55 inch wide knit. And you can get up to that size 12 
poorly skirt in as little as a yard and a half. I hope these tips and tricks have been helpful. Um, if you are interested in the twirly skirt, so long. It gets started on February 10th. Registration is open through February 8th. So just check out the links with this video and um, we'd love to have you join us. So I hope to see you then. Happy sewing.